Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the new 5G home internet gateway from T-Mobile. This of course is the G5AR. Currently you may be using the G4AR. I've done a couple of videos about T-Mobile's home internet gateways in the past. So we're going to clarify some information here. We're going to talk about the good, the bad. This way you can decide whether or not you want to actually upgrade or you may be comfortable with staying where you are on the current model of the G4AR. So there are some key differences which I want to talk to you about and of course the link for the article will be provided for you below in the description as usual. So we're going to talk about the key benefits of the Gen 5 gateway. So first up is you're going to get better speeds up to two times the speeds according to the article here. Incremental eligibility and supportability is one of the benefits. You're getting an overall more stable connection with this device and of course lower latency. Now it's worth noting that the reason why you're going to feel like you're getting better latency, so lower latency and more stable connection, better speeds, is actually due to the release of 16. So the software release is going to be different and that in itself will give you these improvements and they're saying it's not so much the gateway itself, it's the software update that's going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. If you have the G4 AR, you're probably on 15. Now, I don't have the device myself, so I can't clarify if that's true or not. So if you guys are somehow able to get the release of 16, then you've probably already noticed that device is probably working a little bit better for you. There may be a reason in itself for you not to upgrade to the new G5 AR if you don't need to. If you're, if you're noticing better improvements, better speeds, because you were able to get that 16 release, then you probably don't need to upgrade. Uh, that's what the article here is suggesting. All right, so on top of this, uh, there are some other improvements to the massive MIMO, so the MIMO. This utilizes similar features to modern Wi-Fi like beam forming to improve the connection between the device and cell towers. All right, also they're saying that they have something called ULTX switching. So it's a, it's basically allowing you to get faster uploads using the same bands already deployed and it's part of 5G Advance. In addition, there are likely improvements to the carrier aggregation abilities of this new gateway, enabling more simultaneous tower connections, they're saying. Saying the rest of the improvements that come with release 16 likely won't mean much for this gateway, uh, but there is an area where you can re read more about the release and uh, I'll kind of cover a little bit of that for you just so you guys know. So the advanced beam forming, hybrid beam forming, you'll get uh, user capacity. So it defines improvements in handling more users simultaneously through spaddle. So the antenna multiplexing and improved resource allocations, interface management. So you'll get Further techniques for managing interface and dense networks to avoid degradation of performance due to strong signals from neighboring cells. Advanced channel estimation, so more accurate methods for estimating the channel conditions between the base station and user devices, leading to better signal quality. Coordinated multi-point, so that's the COMP, techniques for coordinated signal processing across multiple base stations to enhance overall network performance and then integration with other technologies. So they're saying considerations for integrating massive MIMO with other evolving technologies such as millimeter wave con communication or even higher data rates and capacity. So uh, enhanced ultra reliable low latency communication. So these are some of the benefits here. Uh, again, that will be linked for you too. You can touch up more on that if you want. Just wanted to kind of give you some of the idea. All right, also Wi-Fi 7. So the new gear, the new G5A supports, new G5AR supports Wi-Fi 7 technology. This enables faster than gigabit, of course, over Wi-Fi for supported devices. Um, they're saying that there's no indications of a mesh Wi-Fi device. So they're saying that uh, basically you were able to get that with the G4AR on the all-in plan they're saying that T-Mobile might eventually release a mesh to go alongside with this new gateway. So I guess 
keep checking for an update regarding that. So they're saying there are some negatives to the device, saying the biggest issue that many will have with the new gateway is that it gets rid of the external antenna ports that everyone really wanted on the G4AR, I guess. That means customers wanting to use external antennas, like the ones uh, that you're, I guess you can get from pretty much anywhere at this point. Probably Amazon has a lot of them. They're saying they're going to have to dissemble the gateway quite a bit to get uh, access to those internal connectors. Uh, then there is a, a picture of your two USB-C connections and then two Ethernet ports. No antenna there. Yeah. So it looks like the connectors appear to be on the very back of the circuit board, meaning quite a lot of the assembly would be required to reach them, even more so than the past gateways. All right. So I think that's pretty much everything you kind of need here to give you guys a little bit of uh, what you can expect from the device. Uh, again, the link is here. There's like an image of what the internals of the device looks like. So you can see the connections and all that. And then of course the, the back, as I said, two ethernet ports, two USB-C connections. So you have all that is provided for you as well. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I did my best to kind of just kind of clear it up for you. And hopefully you can decide whether or not you actually need the device. Also, if you have the G4 AR and you're able to get the software update to 16, drop a comment down below just to let me know because I'm curious because I know sometimes they'll roll out that update even though they're, you know, they're probably saving it for the new device as an upsell. But I am curious is if you're able to, you were able to get that and if it did make a difference as far as like your speeds and latency just curious. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.